C++ environment setup. So, what are the softwares we require to run one successful C++ program? So, actually we require two things. One is a text editor where we are supposed to write our code and another one is our C++ compiler and which will compile our program from the high level language version to the machine level language. So, you, if you are willing to set up your environment for C++, you need to follow two softwares available on your computer, on your system, one is the editor, another one is the C++ compiler. Text editor is an application used to type uh, your source code of the program. Examples of text editors are Windows Notepad, OS edit command, brief, epsilon, we are having this emacs and beam or vi. So, these are the different text editors we can use this one. Another text ed editor has got very popularity nowadays that is a depth c++ text editor where you can type your programs and in our tutorials also we have used that editor also. Name and version of text editor can vary on different operating systems. For example, notepad will be used on windows and Beam or vi can be used on windows as well as linux or unix. So, vi means visual editor and visual editor modified vim. So, these are the very common editors in our unix or linux environment where you usually type our programs and later the program will get executed after compilation. The files you create with your editor is are called the source files also known as high level language file and for C++ they are actually they are typically are named with the extension .cpp or .cpp or .c or .cp. But we should always mention and maintain the industry standard for naming of the file, the nomenclature of the file should be purposeful. We should not rename a file or should not give a name to a file like file1.cpp, file2.cpp, it will not carry any sense for us. So, that is why the file nomenclature should be purposeful. Say prime numbers dot cpp, let us suppose Fibonacci numbers dot cpp, that is a good choice for us. Before starting your programming, make sure you have one text editor in place and you have enough experience to type your C++ program. So, text editor where you are going to type your program and compiler which will translate your written code. This is actually there, this is actually C++ compiler which will be used to compile your source code into your final executable version. Most C++ compilers do not care what extension you give to your source code, it will not bother for that. But if you do not specify otherwise, many will produce, many will use the .cpp as by default. Many frequently used and free available compilers is GNU-C and C++ compiler. We have used this GNU-C and C++ compiler in our tutorial. You can find that in the demonstration, we have used a same program has been executed both in Dev C++ and also this GNU-C or C++ compiler. Otherwise, you can have compilers either from HP or Solaris if you have respective operating systems. So, we require one editor and the compiler, compiler will be and the editor version will be decided on the systems platform uh, details that is the operating system and so on. So, if you go to the tutorials point coding ground option, so that is one option in the tutorials point that is a coding ground where you can type your programs, you can execute different language programs can be typed there for their execution. You need not to load any software on your system, you can directly use those softwares online. So, you can visit to this respective link where you can go and get this particular screen available for you where you can type on program and later you can go for its execution. So, let us give, give you one demonstration on that. So, for the demonstration let us click on this respective slide. So, this is the zone where you can type your program, you can find that it is written that that is one main function which is just printing hello world. And this is a very simple program let it be the first program in our C++ tutorial to get executed. So, that is a C out hello world, it is having our end l, end l will be uh, making the line available in the next in the next line. So, end l means the new line. 
So, it will next line will get printed in the next line not in the continuation of this and then return 0 because main is supposed to return 1 integer. So, this is the basic code we are having. So, let me go for the execution. If I go for the execution you can find that this output has been obtained that is hello world. So, in this way we have shown you that how to run a program in our coding ground option available in tutorials find website. Thanks for watching this video.